You are now listening to the Backseat Critics, the movie review podcast. Welcome back to the Backseat Critics. My name is RJ. And my name is Andrew. And Andrew needs to turn down the gain because I peaked like heck a second ago. Working on it. Thank you. Working on it, buddy. Thank you, thank you. Well, you didn't do the, the original intro. You got a little rusty. I get it. You know, you hit a certain age and you just stop. Okay. So this is the Backseat Critics. This is a movie review podcast where we discuss movies that you should probably steer clear of, but... Right now, we're going through Fast and Furious, the franchise. We have gone through one. We have gone too fast, too fast, too furious. We have gone to Fast, fast and, and furious. furious. We're skipping Tokyo Drift. Stay tuned. That was number three, by the way. You probably should have said between Too Fast and Furious. And well, fast. whatever. I'm going in the order I go. Well, you, you get together. I already get did the together. explainer. You hit a certain, get it together. You hit a certain age, my oh, man. We spit facts here, not lies. We speak a lot of opinions here. That's fine. They're facts. Opinions, facts, same thing. All right. And today we're talking about Fast Five. 2011. Yeah. All right. Um, So, yeah, we'll be talking about some characters. And we'll talk about some scenes. And we'll talk about what moments. But that will all come after we talk about... Left or Right in Disneyland, and that new Ninja Turtles movie coming out later this year. Yeah, as well as our quiz question, as well as our quiz question and our two-minute summary. Yes, sir. All right, you want to dive into that first topic, Left or Right? Left or Right? What you do want you, to explain that? Yeah. So what do you? So there's a theory going around in Disneyland that one side is faster than the other. Interesting. And when you go in line, because there's like like the queue line. Most of the time, the lines split. You can go left or you can go right. In your theory, what do you think is faster? I want to say left. Left. That's what everybody thinks is the left side is faster because most of the time people in their mind are right. I mean, most people are right-handed. Mm-hmm. They So it's a right-handed dominant world. Mm-hmm. Most people think I'm right-handed. Let's go to the right. So most people go to the right. That's what makes the left side faster. Supposedly. Supposedly. Most of the time from what I've noticed, is like Indiana Jones. Yeah. You have a more of an up and around with the right side. There's some more, more... um, Like more, you're doing more hiking kind of with that, that maybe, right side? Maybe like an extra four or five. There's probably... you The right side probably creates an extra five to six people in front of you. Interesting. The left side, not as much. Interesting. Mm-hmm. So, so do you think it's like just like a ride-by-ride ride basis? I think it could be. Because Indiana Jones, left side's probably the winner most of the time. When you get to like the Jungle Cruise, actually no, the Jungle Cruise left side's the winner too. Why is that? Uh, it just once again, it cuts to a point where the gate for the left side opens up quicker compared to the right side, which is going to be a little, little longer. Little once again, five to six people. Interesting. So I kind of wonder if they did it. The right side is most of the time just. The going to be longer by five to six people so it's going to create a little bit more of a wait so the people on the left side are going to be on the ride faster most of the time interesting mm-hmm. i've never even heard of this it's a whole it's a topic right now like i've seen it going through a whole bunch of disneyland i i just saw it pop up on uh on reddit rest in peace reddit no it's on reddit disney on the dime shout out to them they they did another little bit tidbit about it mm-hmm. we don't wear ears they did a tear little bit tidbit about them Little things like that, little Disneyland hints and tips. People say, always go to the left, go to the left. And it's like, mm. no, I'm not saying you should always go to the left, by the way. Right. Sometimes there are, are those time periods where it's like, you can tell. You can tell. That the right's going to be shorter. Yeah. You're going to be a little bit faster. Yeah. I gotcha. I gotcha. If the left is behind about, I don't know, let's say 20 people, go to the right. So my question is, does this apply like in other in like other cases outside of disneyland where there's two queues of any sort is that right one going to pile up more i think so because if you think about it think about if you're going up a a flight of stairs and you have a right side and a left side 
Now, depending on where you're going to, so in my head, I'm thinking about the Moda Center since we live in Portland here. Right. If I go up the left side. You're I'm, going against traffic. Well, <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> well, let's say there's no traffic on the left side. Like, it's just only right, a one-way right. set of stairs, right? Okay. If I go up the left side in the Moda Center, I'm going to be able to turn off into the crowd and go wherever I need to a lot quicker than the right side, who's going to have to go up and around the stream of the left people coming. Gotcha. So they're going to have a bigger turn. So, I gotcha. I think it's uh, definitely something to think about. It's a theory to test out. Left versus right. And this was a Backseat Critics Theory. Do-do-do. Next topic. Uh, we're talking about that uh, Ninja Turtles movie. And I just kind of threw this out there because I just, uh, this weekend I saw um, Into the, well, Across the Spider-Verse. I have not seen that yet. Um, it's a good movie. It's a good movie. Um, but before it, they played the trailer for the new Ninja Turtles movie, which I've seen a couple times. And it doesn't look as clean on the big screen. I was just curious, like, just altogether, like, are you looking forward to this movie? I am. Okay. I am but I'm biased. This is a biased decision for me. I am like, I love Ninja Turtles. Exactly. Like, the OG Ninja Turtles. I, w- I would mean I was there for the live action ones. I was there, regretfully. <laughs> the new live action there, ones. Yeah, no, I was there too. The new live action ones. I think ones. you and I went to the midnight showing. We did for the first one, and the second, second one, one we saw we saw in theaters as well together, I yep. believe. So, But, you know, if it, you put the Ninja Turtle name on it, I'll give it a shot. Yeah. I'll give it a shot. Now, the what newer, do you think of the style, though? They're doing this 3D, 2D kind of across the spider verse style. Listen, that, that's a lot better than what they're pumping out on Nickelodeon right now. They Interesting. Are, they're trashing the, the Ninja Turtles right now on Nickelodeon. The past couple of Ninja Turtles they put out, I'm like, please stop trying to make it a cartoon the way they are. Like, stop. You guys are ma- ruining it. Gotcha. I haven't seen any of the Ninja Turtles. I saw the reboot of Rugrats. That was Not, okay. That was okay. Was it okay? I was there for it. Because it looks like garbage. I was there for it. It looks like hot garbage. I would. I. It, it looks like it, a worse condition than my life. No, no, it's a. It, it, I no, it was okay. It was okay. I I would watch. Yes, I watched that. I was there for it. I would continue to be there for it. Anyways, do you want to dive into this two minute summary? Yeah. No, I'm gonna let you do it because I did it last time. <laughs> Shoot. <laughs> so I saw this movie a week ago. So this. Summary might be a little bit shorter than two minutes. Oh, wow. You put in that crap. I saw this a week ago. You're going to let people know that this isn't fresh. This is not fresh in my memory banks. This is not the first thing on your mind. You're not like, hey, yeah, I'm going to give you the two minute summary of this movie that I just watched fresh off the press. You know what? I'm not going to lie to the people. I saw this last week. Okay. Well, guess what? Two minutes is now. All right, so we jump in, and we're breaking Dom out of a prison truck, van, bus thing. Thing of a bobber. 18-wheeler somehow. And anyways, they they do some maneuvers. They get the thing to flip, and out pops Dom, and he's like, yeah, y'all, we're all part of family, yeah. And Harrison Ford jumps out, and he's like, I did not kill my wife. Harrison Ford <laughs> pops out and says, I did not kill my wife? Yeah. Okay. one arm man did. One minute, 30 seconds. I got drunk and flew a helicopter straight into a golf course. And it's Harrison Ford. <laughs> That's Harrison Ford. But anyways, we're not worried about Harrison Ford right now. We're worried about Dom. And Dom and Blondie have one more trick. They're going to go down to South America. And they're going to pull off a heist. And they're going to rob... The richest man, Rio. Thank you for that reminder. One minute left. They rob some cars. They steal the cars. They realize it was a setup and that that they were going to be killed for the cars. So they're like, cool, let's ditch and kill these guys. And then they ditch. And then they decide, you know, we need to take down the richest guy who tried to have us killed. So they're like, hey, we need to rob his money. But his money's in the police station because all the police are corrupt because I don't know. Uh, And so the, the rock comes down and he's an FBI agent. And he's like... I want justice served on these people. 30 seconds. 
and and Harrison Ford's like, I did not kill my wife. And and The Rock is like, I don't care. And then M. West comes in. <laughs> what piece of candy? <laughs> and then anyways, so they steal the vault out of the, the police station. They drag it down a... Ten a seconds. Freeway, and then they escape. Bend. That was terrible. <laughs> that was terrible. But okay, you get the gist of the movie, I guess. All right. All right, what's, what's around the quiz question you got today? This quiz question is good. I'm actually really happy about this quiz question. Brought to you by Andrew's dog. Stubbs. Who pees in your Cheerios. All right, quiz question today brought to you by Stubbs. What you got? All right, so today's quiz question, we're talking about casting again. Who do you think was originally cast for um, Hobbs' role? Oh, son of a gun. I actually know the answer, right? <laughs> and I don't know it off the top of my head right now, but I've heard this before. Oh, this is going to be annoying as heck. Okay. Yeah, I'm not going to get it, but I know, I've heard this answer before. All right. All right. This is going to be piss me off later in this podcast <laughs> it's going to be it's going to be doing a lot more than pissing you off later yeah I'd this is an easy one shut up <laughs> <laughs> all right so characters let's get into it all right oh no i forgot to record something for the characters so here's something characters who are they what are they doing i don't know what i don't know, I don't know. I don't know. So, what's your number one character? Roman. Roman? Roman. Roman's back in this one. They bring back the team of everybody, and Roman's back once again. The comic relief. Love the scene when he has to go in and fake to be an FBI agent to drop off that remote control car. Roman. I gotcha. All right. So, my number one character is going to be Hobbs. (laughs) Why Hobbs? You know what? The dude was an imposing force and was just an absolute blast every time he was on screen. He was cussing somebody out. He was telling people to put together a car. He was being like, we're going to get these guys. Ah, and it was just an absolute blast. And it's The Rock. And Stubbs Pete and his Jerry's. Honestly, yeah. Judging by like his attitude in this, it was. Um, it's been a long time since I've seen Rock uh, in a more serious role where he's like trying to be more serious yeah he was trying to be like tough and macho so he was you could he was probably the worst actor out of everybody <laughs> in this movie <laughs> and you know what actually no i will fight you to the death uh what's his face is dom oh shut up family so what family who cares about family? Take it that's a guy who's buzzed the whole time that works on cars. That's that's dumb. He's buzzed dumb. off his Corona. You think he drinks Corona? No. No. You just every single time you see a bottle of beer that he's holding, it's definitely Miller Lite. <laughs> <laughs> or Coors. And you know for a fact, he's like splitting that 50-50 with some water because it's still too strong. Oh, my God. And it says, <laughs> no, it says extra, I think, Corona. I don't know. I think, though. But anyways, yeah, no, Hobbs, I just absolutely had a blast with him. And yes, you're right. He was acting horribly through this whole movie, and I loved every Uh, single moment of it. That was terrible acting. All right, who's your number two? Number two, I'm going to go back to Luda Chris. Luda Chris? Luda Chris. Once again, just the comic relief of him, and the man cracked the safe. He put this remote control car together. This man is definitely a comic relief part too. Yeah, he was uh he was a joy to have back. Yeah. Him and um here, I'll complete the trio for us. My number two? Han. Yep. <laughs> uh Han, cool, Ludacris, and and Roman. Han, cool and collected. Yeah. Mr. Han. I mean, I don't need to say much more. Han's Han. Han is Han. Just cool, collected. Who else can you say can easily flirt with? Gal got it. I thought it was Gal Gadot. Gal got it. Gal got it? Yeah. 
Got it. G A D O T. I yeah. thought it was Gal Gadot. Oh, I, it's got it. It's got it. <laughs> She's got it. <laughs> Wait. Speaking of which, she's got what? She's got my number three with Giselle. What? She uses her. Sorry, listeners on headphones. She is Just definitely a yours. good, nice little side piece for Mr. Han. They make a good team together. Enjoyable. And I'm glad she fell for Han and not Ludacris. Was that ever a concern? Well, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, who you got for number three now? My number three. Oh no, you gonna crack? No, I'm not. I'm not. I don't. I don't, like I don't ever crack. Ooh. I'm letting. I'm letting the tension build. I'm letting the tension build super easily. Can right somebody now. please send this man a bottle with warm milk? <laughs> He's crying right now. I need. I need a lot of help. <laughs> He's curling up in the ball with number three. Oh man. Yep. Oh man, I'm going to go with. Man, I, do, I really don't want to say Vin Diesel. So I'm going to go with. I don't know what that face is for. Who are you going with? I'm going with Leo. Who? Exactly. <laughs> oh, that's one of the guys, right? That's one the, of the two guys that's yeah. always arguing with his brother. Yep. Yep. Leo. Trashing uh, on his brother's Santos cooking. Santos or something like that, the other one? Yeah. Yeah. Those two are just good comic relief as well. Yeah. They weren't in it a whole lot, but... The bathroom seems gold. Yes, it was. <laughs> it is gold. Pure gold. Anyways, that's my number three. Do you want to get into scenes, yes or no? Sure, sure, sure. Scenes brought to you by... Congratulations for following the rules. I said yes or no, and you're like, sure. Brought to you by Rob's Beard. <laughs> Dictator Bob's Beard. For more information on what conditioner Rob uses in his beard, please, please reach out to at look here f- <laughs> dot fry. It's no longer at look here fry. It is uh, play no games pod dot look here fry. I forget, but we will tag it down below. All right. Since I'm at first for characters, you want to go first for scenes? You know what? Yeah. We're off to talk about C. What are we? What's happening? The magical wizard on? of scenes. I'm so confused. Everything. What's your number one scene? And this is going to be a long scene. But I'm doing that heist with a bank vault. The whole thing. The whole... I don't think it's fair. Think okay, so. fine. I'll single out a section. Okay. When they're dragging the vault behind the car. Okay. That whole chase. And the little swap off they have. The little swap off. The the whole using the 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 vault being dragged behind a Mustang as a uh bludgeoning weapon against other cars. Fun. That, that was the point in the movie where it just felt like the screenwriters were like, I don't know and I don't care. Let's just fun. do this. It made it fun. And you know what? That was the most fun I've had in any one of these movies. Like, completely honestly. Completely honestly. Uh, to be completely honest. Completely honesty. Com- it's, you know. Completely, it's, it's just completely <laughs> honesty. It is what it is. It's it's a Sunday night. It's a mic. There's work tomorrow. There's this is mic in my face. It's just... I, I don't know what to do. This words are words hard. With completely honesty, you know, we're here for it. With your I love just how stupid and just how little they cared about how that would actually work. It was awesome. It kind of reminded me of the Pies of the Caribbean on Stranger Tides when they like steal the whole bank building, basically. <laughs> Same sort of thing. Uh, are you mixing on Stranger Tides up with a different one? Stranger Tides is number four. Yeah, I know. Isn't that what they do with uh when they pull like the building behind them in the beginning when they're trying to rob a safe and they accidentally take the whole building with them? That must be and number five you're thinking of. Number four at the beginning, uh, Jack Sparrow is on trial. He's going to be hanged and hung in England. Ah. Uh, 
He meets uh, King that George. That is right. That is right. And Privateer Barbosa. Well, doesn't he fake like he's the judge in that one in the beginning? Yeah. Hmm. Maybe it is number five. It was one of the two where they pulled the whole building. I haven't seen number five, and I have not seen that scene. I would absolutely really? remember that scene. Wow. <laughs> I think it, one of them, they, they pull a whole building. That sounds kind of amazing. It is kind of fun. Not really. <laughs> but they try and do the same thing. All right. My number one scene is going to obviously be the bathroom scene. <laughs> so Hold up. What? How long before we get a Fast and Furious where they're just racing horses? Like, can we get that? Like an 1800s Fast and Furious and they're just riding horses? I mean, at this point, where it's, you're closer to racing submarines before. <laughs> no, I'm fine with it. Or like outer As long space. as they lost. I cannot wait for that outer space moment. I know it's coming. Uh, But the bathroom scene. That's going to be my number one. The guy's like, ah, oh, this is terrible. Do you smell that? Oh, it's funny. I enjoyed it. It's just good comic, comic comedy. I gotcha. Comedy. Um. My number two scene is, and this is going to be close because I feel like I'm going to be giving up one. So I'm going to go with the FBI agents were putting together the car to find the missing piece. (laughs) And they spend all this time piecing it together and they couldn't figure out what was missing from it. And the rock is like, well, I need you to look it over again just to make sure. And they're like, man... We would know if a piece was missing. And he goes in, takes two seconds, and he finds it. It was badly acted. Yes. It was poorly written. Yes. Did I laugh? Yes. That's my number two. I'm going to go number two to be the the car race scene. Kind of. Not really a car race scene per se, but, but Dom is going... The, basically, the rock goes to arrest Dom and uh, Brian O'Connor. And when they when he goes... Uh, he's surrounded because they have, they made it clear that they are at a car race and that they're going to do some underground racing that sort of thing and uh, basically when he goes to arrest them everybody just whips out a whole bunch of guns everywhere <laughs> and the FBI agents yeah he goes you sure you're going to do that and the guy's like uh boss I think we need to back down <laughs> yeah and they attach a little tracker to uh, Hobbs's car yep yeah ludicrous underneath yep so my number three was almost the train scene. It was almost the train scene, but it's not. Do you want to know what my number three is? What's your number three? My number three, RJ, is at the very, very, very end. Roman pulls up to Ludacris's garage. Okay, hold up. It was the opening for Pirates of Five. Okay. L- Ludacris Dude, did you just interrupt me? <laughs> yes, I did. <laughs> You jerk. Love you. Okay, continue. What is this? I just want to let you know it is number five. It's the opening scene for number five. You're welcome. Isn't that what I said like 10 minutes ago? Ah, uh, now I'm thinking about it. Uh, yep. Barbosa's daughter runs around with every. Yep. Yep, definitely on number five now that I think about it. Okay, continue. Thank you for your permission after interrupting me. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. One second. Okay, Dear now, now you can continue. Now you can continue. Thank you. Okay, you can continue, please. All right, so my number three scene. Wait, hold up. Hold up. <laughs> what now? What's your number three scene? My number three is at the very, very, very end. If you come back into that microphone. All right, so my number three is at the very, very, very end where Roman rides up. To Ludacris's garage in a fancy car. And he's like, hey, look what I spent my money on. Wait, hold on one second. I got another. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good bounce back. That was impressive. <laughs> that was actually super unexpected. I didn't think it would fly that far. Sorry, okay. did that hurt? No. <laughs> so for the folks who did not see that, which is everyone, I threw a stack of sticky notes at RJ. It hit him, bounced back, and just landed on desk right next to me. They call me the incredible <laughs> RJ. Incredible disappointment. 
I can bounce back sticky notes in a blink of an eye. Not everybody can do that. Anyways, Roman rides up in this fancy car. And he's like, hey, look what I spent all my money on. It's one out of ten car. or something like that in the world. Yeah. Lisa. Oh, and it's like one, one out of one. four. One of four. Is it one of four? It was one of four or one of three. It was something like crazy rare. And he's like, yeah, no one's going to have anything like this. It's it's like one of a kind. And then Ludacris is like, yeah, okay. And he's got one that pulls up exactly like it. And yep. you know what? I like that moment. Probably two of my favorite characters in this movie. Having an interaction. It was funny. It's a moment I like. Hmm. Because that's how this segment works. My number three. And uh, to finish it all off. Oh, hold on. (coughs) Is going to be the opening scene. (coughs) Kind of the opening scene, though. Where they're robbing the cars off the train. Can you give me one moment here? I just got to. You little. (laughs) Anyways, but when they're robbing the cars off the train. Sorry, go ahead. Yep. When they rob the train cars off the train it was kind of interesting to see them how they pull up this ramp all of a sudden they drive off this ramp and into the it's desert it's very mad maxi yeah kind of a little bit more futuristic this is where you can see that the fast and the furious realm is getting a little bit wild yeah which i'm here to see well you saw it i mean my statement wasn't a lie and you said at the opening of this we spit facts that was a fact all right, so now what the moments brought to you by Koss's swag. Koss has swag. He is all swag. If you want to know where you can get more swag, ask him, because we don't know. At Switching Stances, the podcast. What? Huh? I'm sorry, what? Is the world the home improvement? Yeah. Yeah. What? <laughs> what was that? All right. What moments? What's your number one? Let's go back to the car scene. Now they cut out <coughs> a freaking hole in the train side of the train, and now they're just driving these nice cars off into the desert, off this ramp sort of thing. Right. The what? <laughs> the what? The whole fight scene. Go Connor getting away, Vin Diesel getting away from everything. Yeah, it, was, it just seemed wild. The whole thing was just wild. It, it just what? That's your number one. That's my number one. Okay, my number one is we're going back to my number one scene. Yeah, that's why I didn't want to name that one because I knew you wanted that. So I I'm going to, to one to specific moment in that scene. One magic moment where we were together. Okay. All right, so my number one scene is going to be um, dragging the vault, but one specific moment where the whole vault was being dragged behind two Mustangs. They'd set up this kind of piping behind it to kind of drag it along. And uh, one thing that got me, maybe I'll come back to this. Will you stop with your freaking Charles Manson eyes? Thank you is when Dom breaks off and uh, he takes that that case solo and he uses this uh, safe as a bludgeoning weapon against the other cars. That was a what moment for me because I feel like that safe had no wheels at the bottom, so they're just dragging it. A, I don't think the Mustang could drag that, obviously. And B... What are we doing here? I think the Mustang had enough momentum in the beginning. He did a U-turn. Touche. But I think if it was just by itself, and you put down like a freeway, and you had a couple other cars to help it start it, and then they slowly broke it off, yes. Yeah, it's going to drag you to a stop, yeah. But and I get what you're saying. Eventually, I think it could pull it by itself. But All right. So what's your number two? My number two what moment? Hmm. That's a good question. Why is everybody in Brazil ho- have guns? Did you not notice that? Yeah, I did. 
doing but, that rooftop chasing. Yeah, there's just like every single time they go to like where Dom is staying or Vince is staying or whatever, that there's guns. There's just guns pop out everywhere. Why does everybody have guns? It's what the movie required. I just think it's crazy. Uh, it makes me not want to go to Brazil. Like, I love the scenery in there and everything. Am I going to get shot <laughs> if I go to Rio? Like, don't, don't, I'm not going to Brazil anymore. Yeah. I don't know. I got to work on my rooftop runs, so. But you saw that everybody has guns. Everyone does. Everybody had a gun. I, I just wanted a scene where there's an old lady crossing the road. They start racing up to her. And she has a gun. She pulls out a gun and starts just pop, 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 pop. Or even in the. Give us that. Not even the neighborhood. Even with Come the racing Paramount. thing, everybody had a gun. So that is my my number one there. My number two. My number two. So we're on to number three. And my number three is going to be Hobbs choosing his, I guess, number two investigator chick. And she's later robbed by Dom. And he just shows up, pushes her up against the wall, all rapey-like, and just steals her necklace and then runs away. And then he's just wearing that necklace for the rest of it. Did they ever explain why that necklace was stolen? Wasn't that originally Dom's necklace and then she stole his necklace? I don't remember that. I thought it was because in the beginning she takes his necklace and then he takes his necklace back. Like she finds the necklace on the ground and she puts it on because Dom has that necklace. It was his necklace. But I thought she said that her brother gave it to her. No, that was she probably to the rock to lie about it. But that was Dom's necklace. Okay, so it's just a plot point. So the real what moment is, <laughs> what was I doing when they explained away that scene? So, yes, no, she, Dom. That was a throwaway what? Dom loses it while running and through the streets and everything. She finds gotcha. it, picks it up, takes it, and then Dom eventually, in that moment, takes it back and goes, that's mine, basically. Gotcha. So. Yeah, so the real what moment is. What were you doing? What was I doing? Yeah. Probably making up some popcorn. Number three. What's uh, your number three? The police force in Rio are easy to rob. If you got some Apparently. fast cars. <laughs> A little RC car. People who are ready to roll up. And, uh, yeah. yeah. And, and a crew of about 10 people. <laughs> yep. And you can be a, a 10. You can rob a police dollar. station. Not that we're endorsing it. I'm just apparently part of this movie. That's something that's completely reasonable. Yep. Sure. So, what you can do with 10 people in this movie, you can do a lot. What you got for number three? Uh, I already gave away my number three. No, you didn't. That was your number two. You didn't know. Did I? Did I? So, you have the... Holy crap. I'm miscounting. Blungeoning right here. scene. Don't worry. We all have our, our weeks. I mean, oh, I had a, I had a bad Oh, man. One. I know exactly what my number three is. What's that? All right, my man. <laughs> What's your number three? So I'm going to disinfect that microphone now. Anyways, um, have you ever seen Toy Story? Yes. The first one. Fantastic movie. Wonderful, wonderful movie. 10 out of 10. Yes. It'd be the top movie, that, or number two movie we've ever reviewed. If we ever did it. It'd be number two. What's your number one? Alf? Alf. Okay. Just make sure we're on the same page. Alf. Come on now. I'm just making sure it's not like Smart House or something no, like that. No, no, no. Come on. Alf, Alf is number one. Gosh, that opening scene with interrogation. <laughs> he is the number one. Anyways, in Toy Story, they're chasing after, I'll set the scene, Andy is moving. Okay. They get into the moving van. They pack it. He gets into the van. They have a moving truck behind them. They decide, hey, we need to get into that truck. This is before they decide to do the flyover and drop into the van. They drop the little like uh, platform down on the truck and it hits the road. You have metal on concrete. And then you just get this wall of sparks going up. You remember this scene? 
Yes. They've got like Slinky reaching out, trying to grab at them, while Buzz and Woody on RC trying to like get onto the onto the truck. Anyways, my number three what moment is more of where were the sparks behind the safe when they were dragging it all around on the streets. Anyways, so like I was saying, there's a ton of sparks when that metal hits the pavement in Toy Story. Yet this movie, 15 years later, like... No sparks. No sparks. No sparks. No sparks at all behind the safe. There should be sparks. Where were the sparks? I guess Rio has non-sparkable crown with guns. Don't go to Rio. <laughs> Don't go to Rio. Everything else just blows up when you when you bump into it. But like safes, metal, concrete, no sparks. No sparks. No sparks. Well, there was a little tiny, tiny bit of sparks. Eh, no sparks. But really, like, yeah, no sparks. What did you rate this movie? I want to be a bit lenient with this one. I don't know why I just did the Jiminy Clicket kind of voice. <laughs> What's your deal with the Nazis? Uh, <laughs> I'll cut that out. Um, <laughs> so my f- my final thoughts for this movie is, uh, you know, this is probably my favorite movie of these I've seen so far. Yeah, they get a little bit more wild <laughs> finally for you. They're probably probably getting to that unrealistic. We're we're starting to become really stupid. I'm enjoying it. Um, this is why I enjoy bad movies, and this isn't like quite like a bad movie. Bad movie. Doesn't fit we're in getting the there, day. but we're 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 getting there. Um, highlight moments for me, obviously, the safe chase scene, obviously, The Rock and Vin Diesel's bad acting, and I gotta say, Paul Walker. maybe a step above them. I think it's funny that in this movie that you start off kind of with the same vibe that you got from the last movie. Of the, it, this is a serious this movie. This is a serious movie. And then it just kind of... Like as soon as progressed. the other characters came, like Han... About and halfway through, it turns into just much more lighthearted movie. Yep. That last half, wonderful. First half, a bit rough. Listen, so the char- the, all, all of them come together... And that is why I'm going to give this movie a six. A six. Hmm. It's probably the best rating I've given a Fast and Furious movie so far. I'm giving it a six overall. And just in the Fast and Franchise series that series I've seen, I'd probably rank it as number one for me. Hmm. Just as the ones I've seen, which are just three movies. See, I disagree with you. I'm going to give this one in a seven, first of all. Okay. And I would say that this is, uh, so far what we have seen, probably the second best. What would you say the first? The first one. Really? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, so, see, I didn't, I didn't really care family. about the first one. Family. I know you didn't. Who cares about family? I'm kidding. I love my family. So, first one, I'd probably say number two is probably the third best so far, and then the fourth one is number four from what we've watched so far fourth one is the worst so far yeah all right obviously once again not for kids no unless you watch it with an adult parent whatever you would like to do um that would be for this type of movie so once again not exactly for kids but yeah no we got the quiz question still going to yes Ow. what was the answer to that so who the, played Hobbs or who was casted for Hobbs? Who was originally cast to play Hobbs was Do you want to take any guess out here? No, I'm not going to embarrass myself on this right now. I will tell mad. you what. I gave away the answer during my 2 minute summary. It, it is legitimately Tommy, Harrison Ford. It's not Harrison Ford. It was Tommy Lee Jones. Tommy same Jones. same movie, same role basically. FBI agent going after your good guy. Huh. Could you picture him in this movie? I'm not sure if it makes it better or worse. My question is, are we getting like the, um, oh man, what is it? It's not Batman and Robin. It's Batman forever. Yes. Tommy Lee Jones, where he's, 
hates Jim Carrey, so he's trying to outdo. He's trying to out Jim Carrey. Jim Carrey, or are we getting the regular Tommy Lee Jones? Because if we're getting the trying to out Jim Carrey, Jim Carrey, I'm here for it. If we're getting regular Tommy Lee Jones, I don't think so. I don't know, cause he does good cops and stuff like that, or he's good at like those chase scenes. I don't know. Hmm. All right. Well, once again, thank you for listening. This was a, a decent episode of the Backseat Critics. We hope it was that. a decent episode. It was a decent episode. This was a good episode. Okay, so according to you, it was a good episode, but it was a decent episode. So, thank you for. Listening. I would rate this episode. Probably. Uh, we out. <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about? We out. <laughs> I said the words. We're done. <laughs> <laughs> the man has spoken. You'll never know what Andrew writes this episode. <laughs>